Hi, welcome back. I was not planning on filming today. I have to be somewhere in 15 minutes. So in true Shelby fashion, I was like, what the hell, let's film, let's film a video. So I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to show you uh, my quick no eyeshadow eyeshadow look. This is a look that I wear, especially when I have a heavier base. So you can see today I'm wearing more foundation and just overall makeup than what I generally would for my base. So this is an eye look I like to use to kind of balance everything out. So this is going to be fast. It is going to be easy as most of my shadow tutorials are. I'm working from the MAC Semi Sweet Times 9 palette. This is a godsend palette. It First of all, can we normalize bringing back or just making petite eyeshadow palettes? I just love the sizing of these shadows. Most of these shades are going to work with a lot of different skin tones. They are all matte. Uh, you can do this with any color combination you'd like, but I am uh, following an all matte look today just because I think it is the most indivisible. Also very great for those of you who have more mature skin. Using two brushes a day, a standard fluffy brush and a standard flat brush. Nothing crazy, nothing special. If you watch my videos, if you wear makeup, I would assume that you probably have brushes like this already. If not, they'll be linked down below. Uh, so I'm gonna be working with these two shades primarily. And the main thing I want you to gather from this is you really just need a shade that is about half a tone darker than what your natural skin tone is. So I think this one is Bamboo from MAC. Perfect tone for my eyes. You can see I've done this eye, it shows up just the most like subtle amount. You can see it popping through. Find something that is almost your skin tone, just slightly darker. And so I'm gonna start out with that shade and you know the drill. It's literally just gonna go all over the eye. This is kind of what I like to call um, a peekaboo effect with my eyeshadow. You can just barely see it kind of peeking through. It takes no effort at all. Um, I do like to slightly elongate my shadow out past my brow because I have hooded lids and it does help to um, lift the eyes a bit. So literally a couple swipes, elongate outwards, that's it. Next, taking just my standard flat eyeshadow brush, I'm going to pick up a medium toned brown. Again, find something that is going to suit your skin tone. If you are lighter than me, something like this more taupe shade would be really pretty. If you have a darker skin tone, using a darker charcoal or a black would be perfectly fine as well. And so I'm just gonna pick up the smallest amount of this shadow. This is basically just gonna act like a liner slash extra definition shade. You're barely going to see it coming through. Again, it's going to have that nice peekaboo effect. So what I do is I start applying it to my lash line as close to my lash line as I can get. I really don't bring this shade in any further than the mid part of my eye. So I stop about right here, not bringing it inward because it does kind of close off my eyes a bit. And then I start working again in that upwards fashion. I just slightly elongate whatever I have left on my brush. And I just keep layering that shade until I get the intensity that I want, which again is kind of just like barely showing through on that outer part. So you can see it's almost like I'm taking an angled liner brush and just sweeping that down into my lash line. So I'm pretty happy with this intensity and the last step is completely optional, but I am gonna take a little bit of the matte cream tone in the shade. You're gonna use something that is slightly lighter and I'm gonna use that on my inner corner and bring it inward just slightly. And it really all it does obviously is adds like this invisible hint of brightness to the inner corner. And from this point, I just add my mascara. And what I like to do when I'm going for this elongated effect is really focus the mascara on 
um, the outer portion of my eye. So again, I leave the inner portion of my eye a little bit more on the bare side than what I normally would. I think it just helps to lift and it really complements a nice kind of bare eye. And this is the uh, new NARS Climax Extreme Mascara. And that's it. Very easy, very simple. We aren't overwhelming, but we are defined. We are looking nice and classy, nice and polished. And you all know, if you're familiar with my videos, I don't use powder eyeshadows often, but this is a look that is simply just a little bit quicker for me to do with a powder. You could totally do this with your caviar sticks, with your CoverGirl Queenship shadow sticks. I just think for something this quick, this simple, uh, nothing wrong with using a powder. So I'm going to have everything that I use down below, some alternatives, and I hope you enjoyed this. I know it was really quick, but generally it seems that most of you enjoy the quick no fuss. Uh, so yeah, any questions, leave them down below, and I will see y'all in my next one. Bye.